Sagittarius, welcome. Let your heart spread read for the end of December 2021. Love, Romance, and Relationship reading. And this week I've been doing the readings instead of uh, exactly like uh, we usually do them. Here in the position of your other person, this is your Three of Cups, uh, their energy. Um, this is the person that you can't get out of your head. That, that, that person you just can't get off your mind. And like to look at this kind of relationship and see what's going on. I mean, something. sometimes I mean, maybe you're happily married, you know. Honestly, I kind of see that here uh, really strongly. I mean, this their energy, your person here, uh, they could be a water sign. Somebody younger, someone uh, in some way you might see is a bit frivolous. Um, um, but um, appealing, like there's a liveliness maybe about them, and a, uh, maybe an innocence. Uh, I, it's I, there's a little bit of a weird thing. It's like uh, almost the feeling toward them. I mean, with you being my God, we'll get into it. I mean, you're over here coming in as the hair fan and now feeling towards them uh, like the emperor, uh, meeting their king of, um, you know, Pinnacles here energy and that's how they're meeting you um, I mean, yeah, you guys got a solid relationship here. I don't think this is somebody You know in terms of being somebody you can't get off your mind. It is because you're really involved with them um, um, But you might have seen them originally as being um, Like for instance, maybe you're a spiritual person. I'm guessing uh, This is your energy around um, love and relationships you know where your mind and heart is at and that's the hair font there so um this is someone is operating at a high vibrational level uh, following their uh, spiritual path here um and your person perhaps when they came in with that three of cups energy uh it they felt even themselves it was a little frivolous because here they are reacting to you as the king of pentacles and male or female doesn't matter, but this is very good energy. Uh, the bad thing about here, this can be controlling um, the emperor. It's it's saying if there's a cross watcher, um, you know, this is a Sagittarius. That they're not going to be flexible in the way they deal with this person coming in here. Um, and your person uh, is, I see this as them kind of rising to the occasion. It's kind of showing you that, you know, they're not like in any way a diminutive or frivolous person or shallow person or anything like that. Um, and um, this is really nice, uh, actually. The Emperor to the King of Pentacles, um, that, that really works. There's, you know, both of you are really solid. I mean, that your person or if you're cross-watching is similarly... Um, you want what you want and um, so but I think like you guys are going to want the same things I think that's what's going on there so you're pretty much um, you know meeting up um, and I gotta say this is just how I'm reading this, this is a little bit simplistic Sagittarius this is the advice of spirit and how to deal with your person and it's either like, go ahead, and it's time to tell them I love you, or it's time to tell them, you know, uh, you're the one, and I want to marry you. Um, now, I know it's not like a cup, you know, like an ace of cups or something. But with the ace of swords, uh, I, think, I think this is kind of how this would be delivered by somebody showing up with the hair bond and the emperor energy, you know. Um, in a very kind of logical way, in a direct way, um, to this person. And the spirit is like a blessing here, right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune and Jupiter just now in Pisces, this is some kind of blessing um, for your person and uh, an opportunity. And I think it's something that's going to align you guys. This is just going to come out of left field to sort of line, align you guys up, uh, and this is you, Sag, being very clear and direct, you know, which we can do. I'm, you know, Sag, you're right, sun, moon, rising, in, uh, sun, moon, and uh, uh, Mercury and Mars. <laughs> I forgot what it was, though. But, yeah, all the Sag energy. So it shouldn't be that hard just to really be direct. It's not harsh or anything. It's like, 
you know, it could very, very direct can be like, I'm you, I love you a lot. It's, I feel kind of vulnerable because I've never felt this intense and just whatever it is, like laying it out there, man, you know, um, and with your person also, this is a very benefic energy. Jupiter is a great benefic. Um, I see them responding very well with this too. Um, and something for them sort of shifting that a lot, puts them in a very good position uh, to sort of receive you. And to be honest with you, some I, when I saw this at the bottom of the deck, somebody's manifesting. So, I believe this is you, Sagittarius. I mean, are you a manifester? Something you would know, obviously. In a way, we're always manifesting, aren't we? I mean, you know, it's more conscious or less conscious, but that's what everything is. Um, but I feel like with that star especially, um, you're feeling this connection with them. And it's it's not a, a sexy connection, you know, I, I there's um you know, there's not a cup here, <laughs> you know, um and still even with the star there's not a cup, but uh this suits you. Um you really connect with them, maybe uh, like a sapio file uh kind of energy and also just some feeling really solid um and genuine and um like something that's going to last. Maybe that's what you're looking for now. And now this is the advice from spirit um, for the relationship as a whole. And I think with the page of pinnacles here, um, it, the advice is to make a start, a solid start. I mean, uh, somebody used the phrase uh, uh, writing, an, uh, uh, opening a uh, new uh, page and writing on a blank page. That was what it was. Um, that kind of energy and because this is I see is the most important um, position in this read it's the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole and it's to unite in a very solid way and make a beginning you know uh, it's not necessarily getting married but it could be m moving in making plans and it's a communication about this so it's like you said you got to open it up and then once you open it up your person's going to come in this Jupiter here, this Wheel of Fortune here, this could be a surprise for you, so I just realized uh, this is advice for them, um, but I think somehow, it's, uh, don't worry about it, it's going to be something really positive for you, um, and you're not going to regret, you know, being open and honest, and now, the, the outcome is the Seven of Wands, so the thing about the Seven of Wands, I always think it's the righteous defense of the castle, so it doesn't exactly de depict the castle so much in this deck here, the Art Nouveau deck, but um, I still see this. You as a couple, as you come together, maybe even the, in the coming together as a couple, or if you already are, um, if you already are, this then is even a page of pentacles could be getting married, making it a real beginning. You know, if you're not, it could be like saying, like, I think we're both interested enough to date exclusively and... Or it could be like moving in if you've been dating exclusively. But there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff, I think, from somehow from both sides. But maybe one side more. And I think it's going to be your person, Sag. Um, you know, um, I think it's going to be them. It's going to be taking a little more flack. But there'll be a necessity to sort of defend the cast, defend the relationship. And, and in in this case, you know, uh, Sag, you will come to the defense uh, here. Um, and if your person um, should ask, you know, uh, but offer in any way you will. And that's what will be um, a marker of your relationship as it begins. So I'll leave it there. I mean, remember you have the stars, what you're manifesting, you know. Um, because now it's just time for, first of all, you got to have the talk and we got to see what's going on for them. That's going to, something's going to change or come in. That's going to really help align them, um, with you guys, I believe as a couple here. And this is, it's almost, you could look at too, like divine intervention. Remember you're manifesting too, Sad. So this, 
is manifestation. So remember, every word you say, uh, I've been writing lately, uh, when your um, thoughts become manifestations like arrows that hit their mark before even being flung. So that's kind of the energy you're dealing with here. Um, and you don't then again see Jupiter's amplifying. So um, it's really great though. Uh, be interested to see what the next uh, part of the month's reading is. And um, I think this will move along pretty quick here, guys. And personally, you know, I've had this happen. It sucks, but um, I'm Venus and Scorpio. So if, if my lover comes home and it's like there's dead bodies to be buried, I'm just going to get to it. And then later I'll be like, come on, what, what the fuck? Uh, why is there dead bodies? <laughs> That's the uh, kind of loyalty. So I, I think the Sag's going to come in here. I think you're going to come in here. It, in you something's going to come out and and you're going to just be, it's not, I don't think it's have to be too big a deal but because I see you guys in, in alignment you're working together you're solid you're united front and it's not a problem you know there's no way you're going to get through that door when you have two people defending it thank you guys let me know what you think of this give me a thumbs up that helps a lot do love a comment let me know what you think and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do appreciate it